Building lean muscle mass is a great way to boost the metabolism. Join us today for a Pilates workout with weights from celebrity trainer Juliette Casca. All you need is a resistance band, a light pair of dumbbells, and ankle weights. But if you don't have any equipment, don't worry about it. Just work with what you got. So let's get ready to do our full body Pilates workout. On my right we have Anna, and on my left we have Jenny. Jenny's gonna use a chair, which you can use at home if you're a beginner to Pilates or to working out. You use it to balance with your fingertips. Whereas Anna and I are gonna use our resistant bands to make it a little bit harder. So first we're gonna start in a V, a Pilates V, very similar to a first position in ballet. Draw your tailbone down and pull your abdominals to the small of your back, already engaging for the core. Placing the hands on the band, palms up. We're gonna to inhale to lower, opening the bands, and exhale to come up slowly resisting. Inhale to lower, tucking that tailbone under deeply to fire up those glutes, and up. Inhale to lower, squeezing the back of the shoulders if you're using the band, and up. And as we come up, really draw the belly button in and lengthen through the crown of your head. Let's do two more here, good. Oh yeah. And the glutes really get activated, keeping that tailbone in. Perfect answer. And up. We're going to hold it down in this third one here. Hold it. And we're going to double pulses with the arms and the thighs. Don't forget to keep drawing that tailbone down and keep your posture nice and tall. Four more. And three. And two. And one. All the way up. Okay, changing our foot stance, we're going to come into a parallel stance. And my palms are still up. And then reach the hands out in front of us. We're going to go down. Still keeping that tailbone tucked as we squeeze the band out. And exhale up. Lowering down, belly button drawn in. And getting nice and tall at the top of the movement. Lower. And up. If you're holding onto your band, make sure your palm is turned out slightly so you're not rotating in. Mm -hmm. Got it? Burns the shoulders, pulling that resistance apart. Perfect. Good. And up. Last one, let's do our pulses again. And pulse it band, and pulse it thighs. Jenny, how are you doing? I'm feeling it. <laughs> and four more. Three, two, and one. Draw it up. Okay, so now this one's gonna require a little bit of balance. Flip our palms down with the band. We're gonna rise our arms up over our head, and draw the belly button, and we're gonna raise our heels up off the mat as we stretch the band out, and lower down with control and squeezing apart and down. So Anna, you should that takes some balance. It does, it's abs, your glutes, but also with the band, you're gonna feel your back muscles into the lats and down. Good. And try to go straight up to the ceiling and then resist to lower. Two more and up. Good, last one and lower it down. Okay, last part of our footwork series. Take our feet about as wide. If you're tall, let's say five, six or above, go wider than your mat. I'm not, so I'm gonna come in. And palms are gonna be facing down, bringing the hands right out of the shoulder. And we're gonna go down and open the band a little wider this time. And coming up. So same idea, tucking the tailbone under, pulling the belly button into your spine, and get really tall, ladies. The more tired our body gets, the more it wants to slump down. So you work harder to get that tall, gorgeous Pilates body. I feel this in my groin a lot. Inner thighs. Inner thighs, yep. Inner thighs, outside of the hips. Mm -hmm. and, and back. <laughs> and back, absolutely the back. And let's hold the next one down. We've got pulses to do. And here we go for 10, and nine, and eight. Don't forget to breathe. And six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Oh. Slowly coming up, find that resistance and release. So that completes our footwork for our Pilates okay. workout. Okay. So we're about ready to continue on with our full body Pilates workout. And let's see, so Jenny's gonna do a little bit of an easier version again for us at home. And make sure you have your hand weights nearby at a low weight, one or two pounds, and I know you're using two. And instead of ankle weights, two pounds is about perfect. Reach the arms up in front of you. And on the exhale, we're gonna roll back, setting ourselves up for hundreds. All the way down, press the hands down. Bring both legs up one at a time in the tabletop. Jenny's gonna keep her legs in tabletop. Inhale, and we exhale, curling up, moving into hundreds. And we inhale, four, three, two, one. And we exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, Anna and I are gonna build with this and stretch the legs out. 20, inhale, 
and exhale. You can begin to lower the legs. Keep in mind this is much harder with that Good. resistance. Absolutely. And exhale it, bringing the legs back up. Lift deep. Inhale down. Four, three, two, one. And exhale. Four, three, two, six. Deep. Inhale. And exhale. Curl it up. Inhale. And exhale it. Those lower abdominals really get work from having that extra resistance. Yeah. And last set, inhale, lower, four, three, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one hundred. Lower down. Ooh. Give yourself that quick little squeeze. Mm -hmm. Good. And we're gonna roll over onto our right side and swing our bodies around, coming up into a plank position. In Pilates, we call this um, leg pull. So you want a nice long straight back. You're gonna lift that right ankle up with the ankle weight on. Bending the elbows, keeping the elbows close to your body. Lower down for a Pilates push-up and press up. Lower the right foot, lift the left foot. And again, pressing down. And tuck that tailbone under one more time, ladies. That's challenging. Hold that left leg. Use the breath here. And exhale. And lower back. Sit back into a quick child's pose. Releasing your lower back. And pulling yourself up. So we're going to come down onto our stomach for swimming. If you're using your hand weights, we're going to grab them now. And we're going to reach the arms out in front of us, our legs back, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly button up. And we're going to lift both arms, both legs, and your head. Now lift your right arm and your left leg a little higher. And with control, switch to the other side. Traditionally in Pilates, this exercise moves with a lot of tempo. We're going to take it slow because we're adding in the resistance of the weights. And Jenny, how are you doing without the weights? It's so effective. And last one, and lower down release. That's a great challenge. So, arms at 90 degrees, bend the knees, and like a skydiver, we're gonna lift up, and then lower it down. Again, as you lift up here, make sure the belly button is pulled in. Squeeze those glutes, the back of the shoulders. Two more. And exhale to lower. One more. And lower down. So sit back, quick little child's pose. And then transition onto our backs. Good. That's a great back exercise. So now we're going to work the front with our core, mm -hmm. rolling back again. Good. Bring the arms overhead. Lift the hips up. And then we're going to lower the hips and curl up reach the weights to the front and back lift the hips up and curl it up so let's get a little bit explosive with it and up and curl up as you go back squeeze your lats where the muscles right under your armpits and back and press it forward two more squeeze those glutes lift the hips and down last one and up and roll it back down good let's lose the left hand bring it behind your head right arm overhead, bring the legs up to tabletop, and on the exhale we're going to curl straight up to the ceiling, and then rotate, bringing the weight across the outside of the left thigh, back to the ceiling, and down, same side, up to the ceiling, twist through the waistline, up and over. So if you're not using a weight, create some tension in your arm by squeezing the muscles, and getting a little extra resistance up, and twist it over, and down, last one up to the ceiling, rotate through your waistline, and lower it down. Good, lower the feet, and switching hands. Right hand comes behind the head, left arm goes overhead, and bring those legs back up. Here we go, up to the ceiling on the inhale, exhale, twist and reach. That's a good point to lift the chest towards the ceiling. You know what that does? It keeps it out of your neck. Yes. As opposed to thrusting your chin down to your chest and throwing your body up into a crunch. So we lift and we work through those obliques and we lower back. Two more here. And last one. Up and release all the way down. So we're gonna lower the weight, roll over onto your right side and come all the way up. We're just gonna do a nice little rotation twist here to cool ourselves down. So tuck your right leg in, bring your left leg over top. And then you're gonna reach the right arm up and come over. So this is like a modified mermaid. And then up, grab onto both feet and twist over the ankles. 
and back up and reaching over and reach for both feet and release and swing the legs to the other side cross them over Oops. ankle on ankle that's right it's a deeper okay. stretch up and up we go yes it's a pretzel it's a pretzel mermaid <laughs> and up and reach for your ankles Press into that hand to lift up. One more. Push up and over. I love how we really extend that trunk, get that full range of motion. It's so important. Pilates is about lengthening and strengthening the body. So there you have it. Juliet, thank you so much. You're amazing. Thank you, Anna. We'll see you guys next time on Fit Sugar TV.